Okay guys, it's Saturday, July 6th, and we're going to make a video, a video uh, that no organic farmer should have to make, but something is happening in the field, and we have a serious problem. For those of you who know soybean injury, you can look at this row and you can see that there's something desperately wrong with these beans. Okay, so I suspect that we have been subject to uh, chemical drift and I suspect that the agent is dicamba. At this point in time, what I have done is I have contacted my certification agency. Uh, they were the first call I made. Uh, the second thing I did was I went to the state of Kansas Department of Agriculture and I filed a formal complaint. And uh, the third thing I did was I started doing footwork. And so what I have found thus far uh, the damage goes throughout the entire bottom here. Uh, off to the north, there is a low area. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but there is a low area, a swale that cuts right through that field. That is an old river channel, and the damage there is just beyond belief. The beans are about dead, and so that tells me that this was a volatilization agent uh, that hit this field. And whatever it was, it settled in the low areas and hurt those beans a lot worse. Uh, but if you look throughout the field here, the damage is everywhere and it's evident and it's getting worse. Uh, the other thing I know is that I have two neighbors close that have both sprayed uh, dicamba uh, on new Roundup 2 Extend Roundup Ready uh, to extend soybeans and I also know that I have two other neighbors that have damage this bad or uh, uh, one in one case it's far worse uh, and I think that was on a Liberty soybean uh, so I called the state of Kansas and the uh, pesticide inspector guy uh, the guy who comes out and deals with complaints and documents them uh, he should be out next week. So this video uh, will most likely be part of a series of videos and I will attempt to detail this experience for you uh, because I think what we have going on here is very relevant to organic agriculture and what is going on in the Corn Belt of the United States right now. And it's enough to make you sick. The damage that I'm seeing on these beans. Uh, the agent that we're talking about that would drift and volatilize like this, if you look down here at a plant, the thing that's going to be hurt the most are those baby leaves coming out right there, the reproductive point of the bean plant. These older leaves are not going to show near the amount of injury, although I can see the injury there. But the younger leaves are the ones that bear the most injury and the deformity. And uh, the new leaves trying to come out don't look very healthy. So. I will see what our investigator has to say. He looks at things like this on a full-time basis and he will have a better, hopefully a better grasp and will probably pull some samples. But to make a long story short, this uh, beautiful, clean, organic field will be taken out of organic production. I will lose organic certification on this field. Uh, when I talked to my certificate certification agent on Monday, uh, we will learn what the protocol is. I personally have not dealt with this before, and so it'll be a learning experience for all of us. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see what develops.